Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be on the trial of Grayson Waller, the Grayson Waller effect. He's the trial and he's this weekend's boss battle poster. He is a modern era focused showboat. Uh, so right out of the gate, he's going to have a lot to live up to because showboats have been crazy. He's got the a modern era link, gems do 5% more damage. And he's got two gears. I am doing this without the gears because I would assume most of us probably won't get the gears. I may do a preview with the gears uh, later. Uh, we'll see. But this is without the gears. Anyway, if you get one gear, it adds uh, 3 MP. And if you get two gears, it adds 3 MP and then 4 plus strength on your multiply gems. He's a trainer. Uh, 26k red moves that deal damage deal 75% more damage. Green moves start with two more MP. Um, I'm sure there's somebody that works on probably one of the, the Christmas guys, the, uh, one of the wild head shrinkers, um, Fatu or Samu or whatever their names are, probably works on one of those, but no one else I can think of right off. Um, I'm sure it'll be useful at some point. Anyway, for this preview, uh, I have a strap. I got the 30% gem damage one, um, and you know fury 2 set um a little bit better strap than normal i think he's probably gonna need it um anyway let's start off with triple yellow and get to it i actually really like grayson waller i think he's a lot of fun as a as a wrestler so uh i was very much looking forward to this one uh 10 mp finisher this is triple yellow uh fireman's carry spine buster 165k damage choose a 3 by 7 area to swap into black gems then deal 165k damage and choose a 3 by 7 area to swap into green gems kind of interesting um mechanic uh the first one obviously doesn't pin the second one does so you hit the finisher twice as it were uh seated rear chin lock 7 mp submission generate 30 rando sub gems 213k damage three turns remaining turn into multiply gems of strength three not real big on the multiply gems. Running clothesline, uh, 7 MP juggernaut move, 188k damage. Choose a 3 by one area to make into a 2 turn juggernaut gem. That will increase the strength of your multiply gems by 1 on every countdown. So potentially 3 with 3 of those. And then uh, you get 12 yellow MP at the end. Uh, entourage for this one, we want to be feud ready. Uh, so 4 yellow MP and 2 from brawn is 6. And 1 for your turn is 7. Gets it loaded. Um, Braun also gives one on your multiply strength. Uh, Lex for green gem damage. You could also use black for green gem damage or Memrock if you have Memrock. And then a lot of people got Gunther, so we're going to use Gunther for the 60% bonus on the multiply gems. That'll affect both green and black. Obviously, it's a sub, so you could use the green sub... Um, which is the All Heart, or the black one, which is the Rhonda's Jacket. Stats-wise, his green gems uh, hit harder than his black, so All Heart would be the better choice um, for that, and then buffing the green gems in general. You could also use Zombie Edge if you don't have uh, Lex. Anyway, let's get out here. We're going to go against uh, Walter, because I want to, and he's got a decent amount of hit points, um, which I think is the important thing, because like I said, modern, modern showboats and showboats in general... <clears throat> completely stacked um do keep in mind he is max level and full stars and uh all of his stuff is gem damage based uh for this one obviously in feud the finisher wouldn't be loaded uh so we're gonna put the juggy gems out try to keep it away from matches preferably lower on the board this might have been an okay spot here too um but we didn't choose that then hit your subby. Hope they don't break a ton of gems or have an all, all, not all heart. We're going to lose that juggernaut gem. Yep. Turns it to times six. Um, whatever that skill plate is, you know, the one that, so with the triple yellow, the thing that you can do, if you don't like your setup, you could always hit the sub and the juggernaut gem again and go for a big hit. Um, this won't keep him down. Full disclosure, this uh, double move isn't going to keep him down, not even close. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this again. Oh, let's go lower. We'll lose one, but that's okay. Actually, we might cover the Juggernaut gems. Yeah, that was a bit of a mistake on my part. 
That's okay, we have way more multiply gems. I still don't know if we're going to finish it, though. So there's the black. Boom. And we did 1.7 million. And here comes the green. Three point six million for five point six total, um, and it does keep him down. I don't really care for that setup personally. Uh, also, the finisher, well, it's unique, is also kind of funky, right? Never really seen anything like that. Uh, brings up some potential coolness later on, which we can talk about. Okay, uh, next build, we're gonna keep the finisher and the sub in, and we're just gonna swap one move in. Increase your yellow MP by 10. Six black MP. A little bit cheaper on the MP. Um, Loto for this one. We are going to use uh, this one. Woods and Priest. Uh, that gives us plenty of black MP. And then we're just going to use Edge, even though... Um, what's his face that we just used? Lex would be better, slightly. We're going to go ahead and use Edge just to show the different trainers. Also, if you didn't have Priest... Um, but you had 17k Santa, you could put 17k Santa in and Matt Hardy in here. Um, and that would work better um, for your multiply gems. This is a little bit lower charge move with the 6 instead of the 7, so that's kind of nice. Uh, otherwise, almost identical gameplay. Except you're not waiting on the Juggernaut gem uh, at all, which is nice. And we decided to buff the black gem, so this is the one we want to catch um, the most multiplies, which looks like it's going to be this area here. That was 3 mil, and now let's get the green gems. 5 mil. Obviously everything's reloaded. Um, no reason not to hit this. A little bit extra damage. So, just thinking about it, one gear obviously opens up a bunch with the three extra MP. Um, saving you from an MP trainer, getting you a one extra on your multiply. Maybe saving you from Santa Hogan, things like that. Uh, Rhonda's jacket, obviously. Or all heart helps a ton with any of these. Um, really weird. Finisher's really weird. I don't like it because it's two sets of breaking gem animation. Not very fast for me. So I like the uh, concept or the idea, but like in practice, like in feud, it would super annoy me having to hit the finisher twice. I know it would. That's just kind of wasted time while you're waiting for all the gems to break and go out two different times. Uh, but it's still a neat concept. I could see, um, you know, them doing other things with the same line along the same lines, but I just don't love it in this case. All right. Uh, so another version with keeping two of the moves in and swapping one out. We're going to take the finisher out finally now and bring in the diving elbow drop. Gonna keep the same trainers for this one. Um, Diving L drop 7 black MP, deal 174k damage, make 30 multiply gems into black gems. The pin bar won't move. This is actually pretty interesting that the pin bar doesn't move. I actually like that effect uh, because it doesn't end your turn, uh, so you go right back into the sub. So basically, uh, um, unless they have... Uh, a plate that matches their MP, they're not gonna fill their MP up, or an escape artist plate, right? So this is much safer than a lot of your typical sub builds, uh, but you're still not gonna win at all, like on turn one, right? You got a wild card of, not that it's gonna matter. Um, we didn't really lose much extra, I mean, there's not a ton of gems there in general. I mean, it's like two two million, right? It's it's not not super exciting, and showboat's loaded. So, like I said, I 
I don't know how much overall even the gear will change things. So unless he's like really easy to get uh, and the gear is somewhat obtainable, kind of doesn't make a lot of sense in the showboat universe so far. We'll see if other stuff comes down the... Down the see, that's th see, I like that it, though that that doesn't cause a pin. That's pretty great. That's what saves this build set, uh, in my opinion, that it doesn't cause a pin. But again, not super hard hitting, super fast necessarily. Obviously, Rhonda's jacket with all the subs, th that's the, the play for this one. That should basically do it now. But you can just see it's a lot of, a lot of clicking, right? not exactly fast a lot of clicking okay that's done we're gonna do double green yellow So these ones, these next two are probably my favorite. However, they're very cascade prone or risky, but I think this would be his hardest, fastest, most efficient setup. Um, if that makes sense, these next two ones, depending on your preference, what you like. Um, let's go back to the finisher, which you've seen. Okay, STO. 6 MP green, 192k damage, choose a 3 by one area to make into pyros, modify all gems above it into multiply gems of strength 3. Um, that's only 21 gems, so even with the gear, that's only strength 7 um, on those 21 gems, which is not a ton. And then choose 7 gems to make into yellow gems, 6 MP. So Entourage, you might be thinking it's a little bit funky. Um, because I'm using 2 MP trainers and Santa. The reason for that is no matchy match in feud, right? So you're only going to start off with one MP here and five here with steel. Santa gives you six and fills these. So now we're we're starting with six. So we only need a four match um, to fill this. If you're not starting with this, uh, you could potentially use Hollywood and lose some damage, um, and not use not use Kofi, but then a. Th Four match only gives you six. Really hard to load, right? It's just hard. This is simpler. You can make a row break um, and be charged in feud. I hope that made sense. I do hope that made sense. Initially, what I was hoping was the finisher you could break like it would be uh if it was like the first one was like a one by sevens and so you could break the pyros on the finisher have the multipliers go up and then hit the bigger area to break all of them i that would be super cool that's what i was hoping it would be obviously uh it doesn't work that way they're both vertical uh and the multiply gems don't go out um they get busted so nothing cool to do there that way. I think in the future probably will. You can see this is only like three times multiplies, even with gear at seven. Each one of those is only 122k. This is not going to be impressive. Black gems first over here. Four million on the finisher. Just doesn't quite get it done, right? In the showboat world. And yeah, the gear would basically, I don't know, not, you know, adding a couple extra million on that would be my guess. Just not. Wild card is not in a great spot for us. Probably going to Cascade. Yeah. 
No surprise. That's alright, we kept the multiply gems. <clears throat> Either way, though, like, it's just not, Im not really impressive. You could use a tiara to buff the black gems when the pyros go off by 50%. But again, to what effect when the green gems are bigger anyway than the black gems? I just don't see it being, like, massive. And it's, it's a 3 by one area, so you can't use the, the um, Piper plate that adds 100% to each color um, when you make those pyros, unfortunately. I do feel like if it was four rows, it would be better. Anyway, uh, last build set is triple green. And this is would probably, I would say, be my favorite one. It's much easier to manage um, with the gear. I think this has the best chance of hitting hard, but there is cascade risk. Hard and quick, I should say. But there is cascade risk. Stunner. Deal 178k damage and make 38 random gems into green. You basically turn the whole board green, which is cool. Uh, and you have those multiplies on the board on top of it. Everything's loaded. It recycles itself. All you have to worry about is the cascade factor. And row break is the safest way because with the with the multiplies, if you shuffle the board and make a match somewhere up here, you're hosed. So you might as well just do the row break. I've found, at least for me, it, it cascades less. It still cascades, like, there. I mean, it's me. Is anyone surprised? <laughs> Probably not. Okay, but now this brings up... Since we did cascade... Oh, I should not have done that. Because that'll cause... A... Never mind. We're not doing that. We're just going to hit this. This is about how hard it would have hit anyway. Not crazy good. Five million-ish. But it is harder and faster than a lot of them. Um, sugar plums. We're going to do a three break again. All right. And the move, if you're thinking Sheik Plate, it's not going to hardly add anything. It's not worth it. The move damage isn't that high. So the 6 million is about what that'll hit for with this setup. So I think you get the gear, right? Then you don't need Santa um, necessarily. I think you can do a lot more. Also, if you have Sherry. Uh, for the four multiplies instead of two, like Matt, Sherry would be huge, but I don't have her. So that means probably a lot of you don't have her either, if I don't. Um, so yeah, it's okay. He's okay. Um, that build set with the gear, I think you could, uh, with both gears, you could probably get like 12 million, which would be fine. But... Are you going to get both gears? Probably not. Uh, and even with both gears, is 12 million at 6-star uh, silver while well, it's fine? Or 6-star bronze, I mean, while well, it's fine. How does that compare to other showboats? Um, the sub stuff is just slow. It's going to be slow no matter what. It also comes with its own risks. Escape artist plate, people fill in their stuff up. You get pinned, you know... Lots of stuff goes on with subs in Feud. I hate using them uh, in Feud in general. The sub is a setup. <clears throat> I'd much rather use LA Knight, to be honest. Safer, uh, simpler, faster. I'd rather use Apollo, assuming you have a Piper Plate. Regal's way better. Um, Taker's obviously way better. Mellow's better. I think I prefer Seamus. Safer setup. And I think he hits just as hard, if not harder. And that's with Waller with both gears. Without both gears, Seamus definitely hits harder. <clears throat> if you got a Judgment Day played, I think Valor's better. Anyway, 
long story short, Nakamura's better. There's a lot of really good options, right? Those people are all better. Uh, maybe Ford is better. Well, Ford's better without if you don't get Waller's gear, I think, probably. You know what I mean? Like, so while I want him and he's fun and all that stuff, his trainer is pretty uh, niche. No one I would use it on personally because I don't have <clears throat> anyone that I think can think of right off the top of my head that I would use that on. Um, heck, I think Gable's probably faster. I mean, unless he gets his gear. You know what I mean? Gable definitely can win in a couple cycles so i yeah seems underwhelming entirely without the gear and with the gear even hitting like i said like 12 mil with some cascade risk there's plenty of other showboats that can do more than that you know um if you have a judgment day plate balor certainly is gonna knock it out of the park right um with his triple purple you don't have to worry about the cascade he hits hard drains them much simpler yeah so that's what i think where he's at i think he's just okay he's he's good he's okay uh i think honestly i mean maybe if you don't have some of the upper tier showboats then he's he's fine <clears throat> like he's he's better than like in zombie lashley i think and you know stuff like that um and bulldog but i think most people probably have somebody as good or better um that changes a little bit with the gear but i don't know that it changes enough to make a difference anyway let me know what you guys think uh, i still need to do a bronson read preview hopefully i'll do that been really busy with holiday stuff uh yes i'm fine no i'm not going anywhere at this time uh i'm good i'm still doing things I've just been really busy doing holiday stuff and really lazy, so I haven't been doing a lot of videos. I actually have a bunch done, I just haven't made tiles and posted them. Uh, but remember to like, subscribe, and share, because that really helps me out, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this preview. Please let me know what you think. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Good luck out there, guys, and happy holidays. Thanks for watching. Not the showboat I was hoping for. Pretty not exciting, in my opinion.